one of the Coen brothers has a new movie in theaters today. I just saw the queer road trip comedy Drive Away Dolls. So here's the good and the bad all without spoilers. Based on the trailers, I thought this movie looked like a blast. It was directed by Ethan Cohen, off a script he wrote with his wife, film editor Trisha Cook. It stars Margaret Qualley, Geraldine Viswanathan, Beanie Feldstein, Bill Camp, and Coleman Domingo, along with three major celebrity cameos that I'm not gonna spoil here. Unfortunately, it was more of a mixed bag than I was hoping for. First off, the movie is very funny and really committed to being over the top. When it leaned into its madcap adventure and unabashedly horny humor, it worked for me. I laughed at many of the very dumb jokes, but your mileage may vary on that based on your taste. Margaret Qualley is doing this aggressively efforted Texas accent that when paired with Cohen and Cook's patter dialogue is a lot of fun, but it's just on the border of being too much and sometimes veers into cartoony territory. Beanie Feldstein is absolutely hilarious in this movie and should be doing more stuff like this. Seriously, put her in every comedy. On the script level, I found there to be a lot of interesting tension and exploration of how platonic relationships can evolve. That's not something we see in movies every day, so I appreciate Cohen and Cook for getting after that. And the way that they showcase the interior lives of the henchmen in the movie was hilarious and surprisingly poignant. That said, this movie is padded with a lot of unnecessary stylization and just odd choices. Throughout the film, Cohen drops in these psychedelic animated transition sequences that are a mix of like groovy color and sound that felt tonally out of place completely. And they disrupted the flow of an otherwise pretty propulsive story. These segments sort of paid off at the end, but I mostly found them obtrusive and distracting. Also, this movie is straight up silly at times. It's, it's a silly movie. And while good for them for going for such a broad comedy, it does fall flat on occasion. All in all, this movie was a fun romp and worth checking out if you're a Coen Brothers completist, but I'll probably forget I ever saw it in about six months.